I'm Jenna. Hello, I'm Gloria. We We are are Worthy worthy wellness. Wellness because we are worth it. Our purpose is to introduce women entrepreneurs products and services while proceeds help women in need for holistic care and therapy services. Welcome, Welcome, ladies. Today I have the pleasure to interview my co-host, my friend and business partner, Jenna. Jenna is a remarkable woman who is a multi-business owner, who is a woman who's traveled all over the world and who is a CEO and founder of an organization that assists women who are domestic violence survivors. Okay, Jenna, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and who you are? Thank you, Gloria, for that beautiful introduction. It's such a pleasure that you're able to interview me today. So firstly, I would like to say I am a child of God. I'm a wife, a daughter, a sister, a world traveler, a bonus mom, an occupational therapist, and a multi-business owner. Jenna, let's talk about the multi-businesses that you have created. You are a CEO of several, and you're multifaceted because you have several different um, organizations that you run along with your nonprofit. Can you just tell us a bit about that and what made you decide to become a entrepreneur? So firstly, when I was 20 years old, I ended up studying abroad in Spain, and that opened up my whole horizon on the world, and the opportunities are endless. It's not about your hometown. It's not about your country. It's about 8 billion people that are in this world and endless opportunity on the internet. You know, I started off in Spain, and I ended up living there, doing a semester, studying Spanish, and it just wasn't enough. So I looked into other opportunities. I ended up teaching English in South Korea for one year, and I ended up living in Australia for six years, and I received my master's degree in occupational therapy. With my travels, I really describe it as my therapeutic journey, being able to reestablish myself over and over again, living in different countries, not knowing their language, not having friends or family, and just really learning the ropes to how to get by. And if you were to create this, you know, people have their vision boards and does it come true? Well, for me, I lived my vision board. Anything that I wanted to create from the ground up, the community, the friends, the volunteering, the job, the education, I was like, God granted this beautiful life and it is meant to be enjoyed. And that's why even in my signature for my personal email for the longest time before being an owner, I said, love what you do and you'll never work a day in your life. So here I am passionate about everything that I do and who says to do the traditional approach. Um, as an OT, we, we learn that we can be innovative and we customize and we're client centered. So I kind of treat my life that way. I look at what is it that I want in my life to have this positive, enjoyable, pleasant, you know, your every day is your job. So why don't you make your job, your passion, and love what you do. I don't want to be a miserable person not liking what I do or who I work for or where I am because we also assess as OTs the environment and just your everyday function. So I'm always optimizing that, you know, what are short-term goals, what are long-term goals, and what I've implemented for my patients have really taught me about me and myself and, and how I should go about my everyday life. And that's when I discovered It's just not enough doing the everyday grind and having someone tell me how to do it. If I can see a positive change in recovery and rehab for patients, or if I find a way that could do it a little better or not have any restrictions, I do not like to be restricted. I'm such a free spirit traveling around the world for 13 years. The the best role for me is an entrepreneur to be a business owner. And what you do in your every day, it's who you are too. And that's why I want to encourage and inspire and connect people that you truly can have it all. No one ever said that there's a cap out 
or a timeline on it. Every single person of every day has the same opportunity of 24 hours a day, and it's what you make of it and what you want to do. Every year is a new year. If you want to do something different, you know, my grandmother, Helena Mascadini, she told my father before she passed, if there's one thing I would like to tell you, this words of wisdom, it's the pursuit of happiness. If you don't like your address, change it. If you don't like your community or friends or the relationship that you're in, change it. Just keep changing it until it's your ideal, until you're living your vision board. So that's my inspiration. You know, world traveling has helped me with self-discovery and growth at the age of 20. And I finally came back in 2016 to relocate and officially settle in the USA. But all between, I was traveling Southeast Asia, seven countries in Europe, and really immersing myself in different cultures and just learning that there are so many different ways and lifestyles. That's what inspired me on no matter where I am in the world and wherever I work, I'm going to create something that's remote and I can work anywhere in the world at any given time and make it be on autopilot and really diversify money. Let it be passive income, ideally run the business through the phone. So, you know, the first inspiration of my nonprofit is a special someone in my heart. I I don't always talk about, you know, the patients for their confidential you know, HIPAA compliance and privacy, but this person dear to me inspired me. It's the legacy to help others with respiratory conditions and All Care Anywhere is a nonprofit to provide therapy services, occupational therapy, speech and physical therapy, along with charity events. I absolutely love having fun and I'm pretty sure everyone else does too. So I've created a way to integrate it into my line of business of sharing the good news and sharing the community events and not leaving anyone behind that really this is all therapy for all people and community events is for everyone. It doesn't matter if you have a physical, mental, or emotional impairment, uh, intellectual disability, uh, delays of any sort. If life is given to us with equal rights and ability, then it should also be given to those that might have a condition or impairment that might not be able to easily be a part and the norm of society. So I want to give that to them. And that's where it all started. And my golf tournament is for respiratory conditions. Shortly after that, I, I've i always had a knack for wellness. I was a personal trainer, a lifeguard a swim instructor, and I received my bachelor degree in kinesiology. So I always knew I wanted to be in the health industry. And being a personal trainer has restricted me for those that have medical conditions. So that's why I like being a practitioner. And I went back to school for a master's degree. But that wellness piece of being a personal trainer has really helped me with prevention. Let's not wait until we're diagnosed with a progressive disease or something that could have been prevented. So the way we eat, our lifestyle, our exercise, supplements, that still has a place in our life. And that's how I was on this journey of wellness to becoming a health practitioner. And I see from world traveling the difference between Eastern and Western medicine. And this is Another reason why I love partnering with Gloria because she is promoting holistic care as she was a case manager in the traditional Western medicine with the health insurance approach. So with our nonprofits, it's providing holistic care that might be under the radar or it might not be covered by health insurance. So we are honing in on these wellness workshops for prevention or for those that are healthy and, you know, looking for a lifestyle that is going to prevent maybe these hereditary diseases is something that they, not everyone wants to be identified and say that this is what's going to really happen to me. Let's take ownership of our own life, our well-being, and try the best we can before actually getting diagnosed with that and just having that be your destiny because it doesn't have to be. And I've always stuck in the health industry and what is optimal health and performance. 
And this is why I decided to do wellness workshops over the summer. I kind of look at the year and when you travel, you kind of travel and look at weather and you look at the season. The summer really suited for wellness and the weather is better outside and the sun makes everyone happy. <laughs> so that turned into helping domestic violence survivors because when I do charity events, it's linked up to a cause. There's nowhere where it says you are limited to one. And when it comes to therapy, you are helping a wide range of targeted groups. It just helps me compartmentalize as a business owner who I service who the targeted group is, and what is the event for. So that's All Care Anywhere, my nonprofit, the golf tournaments, the DV survivor workshops, and what we're going to be rolling out are some phone apps. And I'm rolling out five. (laughs) I can't do it on my own. This is why I love to create partnerships. And I want to give that opportunity to others that I don't want to be your boss. I want to be your partner. I want you to be just excited and go along this journey with me. So I've had such a great time doing this podcast with you, Gloria. And, you know, the finale of the workshop was with you. And it just enhanced that whole entire experience because I am generous and I I love and I don't want it for myself. If I know something, I will teach it. I taught English as a second language for seven years and I was able to connect with so many people around the world. And we may not have known the language fluently, each other's native language, but there was a way to communicate. You have your body language, your eye contact, just sharing a common interest. And you and I have that common interest of helping women in need, whether you're a single mother, financial hardship, DV survivor, divorced, being self-sufficient is where it's at. And if I can teach you the tools on how to be a business owner or how to be an independent therapist, if you want to roll that out on your own, for those that want student loan forgiveness, I have a solution. There's a way you work in a nonprofit. I feel that this podcast gives a lot of awareness and education And it is connecting all of us by telling our story. We're able to share to those that maybe contemplate wanting to be an entrepreneur. You can listen and get inspired here and learn some tools to get you started in the right path or even contacting you know, everyone that we're introducing or us as hosts for Worthy Wellness. And Worthy Wellness is partnership with Gloria and it's helping women entrepreneurs and women in need for holistic care and therapy services. The phone apps are going to be under my corporation for functional therapy and wellness. Within business in a corporation, you can have doing business as. And the way that I see everything is I compartmentalize each line of business and who I have partnership with. For example, working in a hospital, you have different wards. There could be pediatrics, geriatrics, stroke. There's different type of departments. So that's the way my vision is when it comes to all my businesses is it's that, but on a remote level, on a digital level, in DBAs. That's just the way my mind works. And it's helping me have clarity and simplicity. And it's empowering It's empowering others to take a leadership role or to also be a co-owner with me. And I love that. It is a beautiful thing to see that others can be achieving too. It's very rewarding. You know, to be a therapist, you have to have compassion. You also have to be passionate of what you do because it's hard work. And when you give, you need something to fill your cup back up. And to me, that's the reward. It's the reward that, you know, my patients are getting better. They're able to achieve their goals or partially if that. The partners that I'm working alongside with are also able to grow and succeed. And we can celebrate together. And that's what it's about. It's about unity and community. And that's why I decided to be a multi-business owner. It's very lonely being by yourself. I don't want to do it solo. Let's celebrate together. I have to say, it's been such a pleasure to partner up with you with our Worthy Wellness and doing the workshops this summer. They were wonderful. We had a great turnout um, with 
yoga and meditation and sound baths and we had vendors come in and it was just it really has been an honor and a pleasure and i look forward to having so many more workshops and um, other events uh, in the future for our nonprofits. It just really was. We had a great summer. And Jenna, how is it becoming an entrepreneur? How has that changed your life? Let us know because there are so many women out there that want to start their own business, take that leap of faith, but just don't know how. For me, the way that I see things, times are so precious. Being in the line of health, you see some people passing or really sick where the things that they wish they could have done on their bucket list, they can't do anymore. So time is very precious. And therefore, to be an entrepreneur, you find someone in your field or industry and someone who's already been there, done that with experience, and you pay. You pay for that advice, the coaching, the mentoring, the blueprints. And that's what I found. I found a lot of different blueprints, a lot of different coaches that has really helped me build what I have and everything that is possible because of their help. You know, you learn a little bit from each and you kind of make it into your own. What I also notice is, well, what is something that is not common and can I tap into that? What is the ultimate and the ultimate plus program, you know, they, they help you build your, your dream app. And again, I'm going to emphasize on time. Time is so precious that it's worth the investment to get to where you need in a very time sensitive way. And for me, I needed something fast, something effective and someone who's already lived it. So here I am trying to pass that on to others. Anything that I learn, I try to pass on to others. I'm going to create something where they too could have the tools and walk away with it. And so with the five phone apps, the patients in pediatrics, geriatrics, DV survivor, music therapy, there's all these creations that are in the making right now. And we were super excited to have the first launch around December 29th. So stay tuned for these announcements. But again, just find the person that's already been there, done that, invest in the coaching, invest in the mentorship, because you're going to spend more money with trial and error than you are to just get the tools you need. And that's the way I see everything. Because in therapy, you look at your short-term, long-term goals, you figure out, well, what are strategies to help me achieve that? So you always need tools and strategies. And Yes, the internet, you can do a lot of research, you can tap into free resources, it's just not the same. When you have a blueprint that's ready to go from start to finish, or you're learning modules to complete module one to 10, and you're ready to take off, that's the investment you want to go for, including myself or Gloria here. Because we're business owners, we're able to talk to you about what is it that you're needing? How can we help you or connect you in, in any way, shape, or form? If I can't do it, I may know someone that does. And just having that referral base is just a wonderful structure because we can all get referred out somewhere. And for me, that's how I do business. I only like to go to where someone has referred or has had, you know, reviews and, and told me personally, and I have that personal contact because it, again, it, it goes down to trust and anything that we do, you want to be very efficient and productive. You don't want to waste that time. Jenna, you are truly a visionary and you've really helped me and other people kind of step out of their comfort zone you know, vision, what you really want for the future and everything you're doing and, and setting forth is really just, it's stepping out of your comfort zone. It's being a visionary, seeing that you can have multiple businesses, you know, like the app, you have five different apps and you're, and each one's going to be special and it's going to be for the right person. And just having that vision that you can have more than one business, several passive incomes, and just having the vision to see this can be done. There's a different shift in everything now, and we can do it. We just have to set our mind to it and just believe in ourselves. And I love that about you. Jenna, let's talk about 
2023, you have something wonderful and exciting coming up next year, your charity golf tournament that you're going to be hosting. And let's hear about that. Before I tell you about next year, I wanted to tell you about my motivation behind how All Care Anywhere came about hosting a golf to breathe tournament and who it's for and the legacy it's going to carry out for respiratory conditions. The way I came about planning this golf tournament was my why. I know who I was helping, which is for respiratory conditions. This is highly on the rise with the pandemic of COVID-19, lung cancer, COPD, pulmonary fibrosis. You know, some of these are incurable and it's complicated. And this is why I chose to do the cause for golf to breathe. And Cinco de Mayo actually is the day that my nonprofit was established. So that kind of helped me put that on the calendar. And it's a friend who is getting golf lessons. And I was introduced to that referral who then connected me to the manager. And that's the first thing you do is you mark the date on the calendar. You make the plan with whoever's in charge of the golf course to book that arrangement. And then you get a golf committee together and you set up the meetings. You figure out the sponsor packet, who's going to sponsor a golf hole, maybe the food, the drinks, the banquet room, any type of entertainment or guest speakers, the goodie bags that you put together. So all of that is what you plan with the golf committee. And then you have volunteers because with a nonprofit, it's all about trying to get people to do service and volunteering and for the greater good, whatever that cause is. So miraculously, we did it in six weeks. Normally, you want to take about six months to a year to plan. And that was my very, very first golf tournament. For the second Golf to Breathe Tournament on May 5th, 2023, we are going to host the tournament at Los Amigos Golf Course at 7295 Quill Drive in Downey, California, 90242. So All Care Anywhere is doing this Golf to Breathe Tournament for respiratory patients. You can register at www.allcareanywhere.com dot golf reg dot com that's g o l f r e g dot com so the early registration fee is a hundred and thirty for an individual four hundred and eighty for a foursome and that ends on january twenty third twenty three the normal ticket price thereafter the entry fee is a hundred and fifty for individual and 540 for foursome. At 11 a.m., there will be a check-in, golf cart and driving range included. At 1 p.m., shotgun start, 18 holes scramble format, lunch, dinner mixer, and music, raffles and silent auction, and of course, a welcome gift and contest prizes. I hope to see you all there. Jen, I just want to thank you today for sitting down and talking to us and just sharing your journey and all the hard work that you've put into your businesses, to your nonprofit. It's been a pleasure just working side by side with you. You have some wonderful things that are coming up in regards to the app that'll be launched by the end of this year. You have your golf tournament for your nonprofit, and you have some other wonderful, exciting things that you're also working on. So thank you so much for sharing that, sharing your journey, sharing how you just work hard, your work ethic, and letting us know that if anyone can do it, anyone can do it as long as they've got, they know their worth and they know that it's going to be something wonderful for their future. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Gloria, for interviewing me. A nice shout out to my coaches, to my golf committee, to my supervisor, even from my field work in Australia, and just the studying that I've done in university, my classmates, 
pretty much thank you to everyone that's been along this pathway of mine of becoming an entrepreneur and a multi-business owner. So thank you again. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And tomorrow, part two will be launching. If you'd like to reach Jenna, you can reach her at her IG is all care anywhere. A-L-L-C-A-R-E-A-N-Y-W-H-E-R-E. You can also reach her at 800 548 zero nine five eight and also at www.allcareanywhere.org if you're also a woman entrepreneur to support our cause and would like to be considered on this podcast please reach out to us we would love to connect we see you we want to connect empower and inspire others so please call or text or even fax 949-793-8781, or our Instagram is Worthy Wellness Inc., like I-N-C. Hope to hear from you, and thank you for listening.